Theo, your claim to fame is sucking Joe Weller's wood on his podcast <laughs> every week, all right? That's the only reason why anyone knows you. Relax, mate. Welcome back to Waffling, you little wafflers. You love it. Happy Sunday. Merry Christmas. Unless you're one of those on our Patreon. Oh, bang about it. <laughs> yeah, you're seeing it on Saturday because you get it 24 hours earlier than anyone else. Mate, there's a lot of them now. Mate, there's actually 600. Yeah. There's loads of people. Next stop, 1,000. Exactly. Imagine when we're able to kiss all of you and get it really intimate. Okay? It's going to be the best. So I'm looking forward to that. But coming up after this show, right, we have this week elected by the Patreonistas... An impressions challenge. I just realised that was actually one of our most successful videos on the channel. They in it like that was it. Well, that was yeah. when you pulled out the iconic David. <laughs> 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 yeah. So basically, after this, on our Patreon.com/slash/Wafflin channel, uh, we will be doing an impressions challenge, and you guys have oh, voted God. who we are going to be impersonating. <laughs> I've not seen them. You haven't even looked. I haven't looked at it. I've not looked at them. Oh, um, God. But also, wait, have you actually looked at what what the other thing? <laughs> Oh, Captain, I swear to right. God. Wait, no, if you nah, look at the other uh, thing. No, because I no. replied to them. So Weller no. obviously put this stupid poll up. I'll let you talk about it. But okay. like, I replied to everyone like saying, See. please, like, I beg you, don't do this to So me. this is going to be the best episode you've ever seen, right? Because on our patreon.com slash waffling channel. <laughs> Why do you say that again, mate? <laughs> <laughs> oh, please sign up. <laughs> please. <laughs> no, basically, um, we did... Uh, we posted a sentence saying, whoever is the top voted must perform Kitty. Just one minute. With full passion so it's for me. 60 seconds. So it's me. The winner by a landslide is Luke. Right? And there was a comment saying, we're saving Weller for the worst one when it's like some <laughs> awful... They've, they've, I love they've already started like ganging up. They've probably got like a Discord like private no, message. What I like, right, is it clearly shows that them watching actually know our personalities no, and they know <laughs> what the worst is for each individual. So you wearing a vest, they knew that would be the worst. It, it doesn't show for you. our personalities. They know our insecurities. Yeah, yeah. Oh <laughs> shit, they can read us. Like, they know I'm thing, feeling like, fat. Do you feel like, because I see a lot of these comments where people feel like they, they are our mates, right? Yeah. They know us on a level. And I'm saying, like, observing us chat shit on a Sunday every, you know, for an hour, isn't it interesting how, interesting how they can pick that up they know, and know yeah. what will get to us? Like they what? know I'm feeling fat. What? Right, I'm so fat. Mate, no, no one said that you were looking or feeling fat. <laughs> I'm very fucking <laughs> fat. Just sitting there thinking Do you remember that photo? Do you remember that photo from Monaco? And I showed it. Get it up right now. Oh, horrendous. Okay. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wait, but no, I do remember that. Chunk oh, Baker. Oh, awful. Mate, we've all been there. It was the there. lens. It was the times three we've, zoom. No, no, no. We've all been there. That, thing, that waffling one. season in lockdown where I was getting called fat every episode. Yeah, but you were eating triple cheeseburgers three times. I'm training for an Iron Man and I'm fat. Yeah, but sumo there's another photo, are there's also no, big. There's another photo from Qatar, and it's like a it's a tight Nike top. And oh have you got it? Get it up. Huh? Let us see it. Well, I've got to find it. I'll put it on the. I'll show yeah, it. it's up now. It looks fit. Oh, it's horrendous. But anyways, but, give us the rendition. So basically, Ooh, yeah. Let's um, let's work into the episode. We don't want to turn people off no. right away. You know, think retention. Wait, really? Or is yeah. it just like get it out of the way, no, and get no, it no. done with? Why? Why? You don't, wait, you don't want to be known as a pussy. Yeah, no, no, no. I will get it done. This is that segment. No, but but this is this is uh, so when I saw that I had been voted, it yeah. instantly made me regret doing the Patreon. Why? I looked at it and thought, I don't even want the money. You've been Take losing. Him. You've been losing sleep over this. No, I have been. You this have is, been. This is honestly. First, it was the bungle boots. Then it was. Have you got the bungle boots? Did you bring them this episode? Yeah, give us an update. No, no, no. Where the are the bungle boots? They're these are the these are them. If you haven't seen them, they're on the screen now. They're at home. No, they're not at home. Where are they, Luke? Wait, why, Theo? What's happened to them? I think he's returned them. He's returned <laughs> them after wearing them. Wait, uh, you've not done that thing where you wear it <laughs> and then send them back <laughs> pretending like there's something wrong with them because you wanted it for one event. He's either done that, that or he's done. been bullied into returning them. He hasn't been bullied. No, he's returned oh, them. Maybe I have. We no. haven't done any of that. Well, <laughs> you, you're just being cheap. How am I? Basically, Luke <laughs> always fucking does this, right? Does anyone else do it where you mate, wear something? No, I once never, and then I never do it. Like he send is, it back. Mate, he's the worst culprit at that. He, to get a train to London, Brighton to London, do you know what he does? B bunk the train. He buys a Clapham Junction to London, Victoria, and just bunks it. It works. Break but, a lawbreaker. 
Yeah, this, no. guy, this guy earns fucking, 100k a year. He, he's studied law. He's fucking a law. police are going to be rocking Mate, up my house next week. <laughs> you're on six figures a year. No, but can I actually tell you a quick story from this Please week about really. how, like, being savvy with money actually came back to bite me? Okay, everyone, listen up for the financial advice from Mark. <laughs> this is not financial advice. Okay, okay, go This on. was bad luck. Okay. So, you know, like, my garden hasn't got any grass at the moment. Okay. So, like, I've got a garden around to quote up how much it would be to, like, level it out, fix it, and then turf it. And it was like, it was more than I like wanted to pay, like quite a bit more. Fuck, dude, it's so, nice. so I was like, I've got enough time. I can just do it myself. <laughs> so that's the most Luke so Martin thing ever. I was down the bottom of the garden, like picking all the rocks up and I had like a pile up by the patio doors where all the rocks were. So I just, like, I was chucking rocks onto them. I threw one, it like bounced off the patio, hit the door, smashed it. God. So I was like, oh so now I've got to do the garden myself and I'm effectively going to have to pay the same price to replace yep. the glass in yep. the door. And that just shows, mate. Don't be cheap. Yeah, and don't try and do everything yourself. Like something I learned in life, right, is that if you try to do everything yourself, you will come unstuck, right? And you, <laughs> it's important to share the workload or else you will create more of a mess for yourself. Don't be yeah. afraid to ask for help. Yeah, just ask for and help. And you know what? It's not... But you, you boys <laughs> didn't come and help me. No, but you could have asked the boys. You could have asked a gardener could have asked Theo would have travelled down and helped you mow yeah, the lawn. And you know what this is? This mow is the... <laughs> Mate, pudding is in the proof is in the pudding. Pudding's pudding. in the proof. <laughs> pudding is in the proof. Proof is, what is it? Pudding. <laughs> oh, fuck. Pudding Whatever. is in the pudding. That maybe your stubborn side needs to just, you know, drop down a little bit and be more open. Yeah. No, no. So true. Anyways, back with the kitty performance. <laughs> <coughs> Do you need the back right. backing sack? Obvious. <laughs> the backing <laughs> sack. <laughs> Are you going a cappella? No. Okay, right. I let's really just get it out of the way. We right? have to do it, you know, properly. I don't want no half. Oh no, I don't know the lyrics. Personally. I don't know the lyrics. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, we've got. I right don't know the lyrics. Though. <laughs> <laughs> so right, buddy. We've got them live in the flesh, right? No. You can do a rendition if you really want. Right. Wait, mm. why didn't you bring your guitar? You could have brought the guitar. <laughs> I'm a kitty. And so, so this is gonna be with full passion, <laughs> or else you're in hell. Oh my god! Uh, oh god, this is hell, right? Honestly, He's gonna do it. for those of you that have been watching for the longest time, this is honestly—you'll know this is my worst nightmare. Performing. <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to find it on. Um, what are you looking for? Just long. I'm it. looking for it on Apple Music. What the instrumental? Oh, oh, no, you're not having the words. I've got the instrumental if you want. <clears throat> yeah, we're not having... Yeah, okay, but, I don't, but I don't know like how it... Like, I won't know where to come in or anything. Mate, don't worry. You, all, you, all, all that matters right now is you give it your best shot. It doesn't yeah, matter yeah, how yeah. it sounds. Yeah, so... You know, you can't go through life being scared of making a mistake. Right, are you ready? I'll say now when to come in. Kitty, this is the point. <laughs> <laughs> you're oh, no. being stupid, Kitty! I can see the music now, video. Now, yo, yo. I was heading to my school when I saw a kitty. She didn't hesitate. She came right to me. I said, Kitty, what on earth are you doing? Come on, put a bit she more said, into it. Joseph. Joseph. I'm just chilling. Out of nowhere. She hit me with a head butt, which sent me flying. But never did I think to give up. I'm in charge around these parts, kitty. Uh, she replied, yes, not okay with me. Right. Kitty, now Kitty, take a seat. You're causing too much raucous. That's not okay with me. I know that you love me, and it's me that you're pursuing. But oh, Kitty, what, what on earth are you doing? Five years later. Yeah, mate, banger. Mate, that's viral. Well done. Um, yeah, that, you know what? I, I would have liked a bit more heart in it, but yeah, a little bit more. You did, a, you did a job. You did well a done. job. Yeah, I don't look. Performing's not for me. You perform guitar. You always, yeah. No, that's a weird one actually because. You talked about it the other day, didn't just now before we came on, on air, about the 125,000 people at Liam Gallagher. Like you perform yeah. guitar to thousands of viewers on your Instagram all the time. And why are you not nervous? Do you know what? There's, there's like a thing where like performing when you're good at something. Like I play guitar and I think, I'm quite good at that. So I'm, I'll happily do it. But I'm not a rapper. <laughs> I'm not a singer. Yeah. Um, so, and also like with the, imp the impressions... There's mm -hmm. going to be an impression challenge. Oof. I hate performing at things that I'm not good at. Okay, no, I think I think people can relate to that. It's a fair play. It's a fair, fair, fair play for doing it. So yeah, sorry, guys. Oh, shit, you know, over Christmas yes. we all got each other's different no, presents. No, 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 no. This is Joe's birthday. Oh, birthday. Present. Yeah, but you know, I said, what? you know, I said I was getting you a present. Yeah, you know, we we said you are getting a present. You've got to be kidding my ass right it, now. It's, <laughs> it's, it's finally arrived. You what? 
It's arrived. The present has arrived. Okay. We're going to get it up on screen now. Screen? And if you're listening, it will obviously come through yeah. on audio. So, it will come through on I, hit, audio? I hit up a friend of mine. A friend of ours. A friend of ours. Who's Al? No, no. Yeah. Al's. Oh, oh. And uh, <laughs> they just wanted to... Uh, they just wanted to say hello. <laughs> Shit, what the fuck's this going to be? All right, Joe. How's it going, mate? Your friend. Oh, friend. <laughs> Theo has asked me to do a little video just to congratulate you for overcoming your hyper-aggressive wanking disorder. <laughs> uh, nice one, mate. It's really great that you've managed to uh, get past this and you're not going to wank yourself to death. You've even got yourself a girlfriend now, Sweet. which is absolutely brilliant. If you and your girlfriend would ever like a romantic weekend away down the caravan club, you let me know. <laughs> I'll arrange it. Um, apparently, this isn't a joke. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, this isn't a joke. So, congratulations. Um, that's really great news. Uh, let me know if you want me to teach you how to put the balls in and how to do the one-pump orgasm. So when you do get me deep in the girlfriend's plunge, she'll be frothing in the gash. You'll be having a whale of a time. And you won't be, you know, starting a fire rubbing your cock so much. Uh, congrats, Joe. <laughs> congrats, Happy birthday, mate. Mate, that's actually a really good present. <laughs> I thought that was great. No, that is actually really, really good because, like, he was my idol growing up. And I, like I used to like base my whole personality. Like, I used to think he was really cool, and now well he is. He is like, cool. Jay from the Inbetweeners is a quality character. Yeah, he's like that is what. And the thing is, where the Inbetweeners is like what a lot of our <sighs> our actual friendship groups like personality yeah. is based on. But like, that's sick. I think our, a lot of our generation has been shaped by that show, and yeah. in particular, probably Jay from the Inbetweeners. Yeah. Do you know what? I remember him talking about like he's not. He's only known as Jay. Yeah. Not. Um, James, James Buckley. <laughs> James Buckley, sorry, yeah. And <laughs> oh fucking hell. He's gonna walk, he's gonna make you TikTok on me. <laughs> um and I remember he I think he went through a stage of like, oh, I don't really like being Jay. I, yeah. I guess same with like Harry Potter characters. Yeah. But now I remember him talking about he's like, I love doing stuff in the Jay character because that shaped so many people's childhoods. Yeah. Because it'd be so easy for him to be like, oh, stop referring to me as Jay and yeah. blah 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 blah. But he loves it. Yeah, well, now he's almost accepted, right? Wait, the, uh, the impact I've had is yeah. through this character. So it's like, yeah. fucking, that's and amazing. That's, that's the thing. Some people like to turn their back on, like, the things that made them successful. Yeah. I think, like, you only realise as you get a bit older that, like, no, actually, like, that's why I am where I yeah. am. Yeah. But what I do want to say is, did you, I think it was recently, the creators of The Inbetweeners came out and said, like, or one of them, came out and said, we couldn't, like, do the in us now because it would upset too many people. Well, yeah, it's mm. not politically correct at all. Like, it is... Mate, it's... you couldn't... There's no way. No, no, There's no. There's no way on earth. But, but it's like, not... Like, because I found, definitely in our era, the in us was the truest and closest yeah. representation to... Yeah, yeah, to well, our lives as The second thing you have nowadays men. is waffling. Yeah, what you think we this is? The new Wolfling in is in between as of twenty twenty two. I remember. Going is that giving to... us a bit too much credit? No, <laughs> I'm un, un, under credit. If anything, <sighs> the summer's coming. You're <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are feeling sexy. Why? Because you've got great bollocks, mate. <laughs> oh yeah. Right? Oh, you haven't. Why? Well, our friends at Manscaped are here to save you. Right because they are offering their performance package 4.0 nah. to you with 20% off and free shipping. Tell me it includes the lawnmower 4.0. That's exactly what it oh includes. My the word. weed whacker. The bloody weed whacker. Right, for your ears and nose. The skitty bockies. No, the oh. no lovely clean and lovely bockies. Boxer briefs. Well, they're actually really comfy as well. I don't know if you boys have oh, tried I still wear them to this day. Yeah. And um, was it Bull Reviver? Oh, mate, I use it all the time. Mate, it's actually bon <laughs> really good. So if you've yeah. got, like, a nice, you know, you played a bit of footy <laughs> and you want to have a nice freshen up, that's straight onto your, you know, your package. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, the ball deodorant as well. So that's obviously pre-football match. Psst, obviously, you know, if you're seeing the missus after and or boy <laughs> or other. But, yeah, basically, you can get all this for 20% off uh, and free shipping with the code Wafflin at manscaped.com. That is the code Wafflin at manscaped.com. Get your hot summer on hot boy summer and girl, I don't know. Right now. Enjoy! I remember going to the cinema and seeing uh, In Between Us movie one, and I have never laughed so much in my life. You know when like your stomach hurts? Mm. Yeah. It, is the, it was the greatest. Even In Between Us 2, fantastic. Yo, I, just, I just love it. I even The thing is, the only thing about the films is that I feel like 
they the cameras were it's, too these good, guys weird, too, too good. It's yeah. almost like the fact that they were a bit shit cameras yeah. for the series, like that represented. Yeah. That gave the mood of what was going on a bit more, and it's just, I'm, it's just quality. I'm so happy they stopped where they did. That was so smart. No, but imagine if they did make more funnier ones. Like they did one at a festival and did one like. No, I think, but I think the reason it is what it is now is because they stopped at that yeah, point. Yeah, knowing when to stop is important. Yeah, knowing when to stop is. But yeah. what I do think would be really cool we, is if we got an episode where they're grown up, mate, a Christmas yeah, special, yeah, and yeah. sort of like see like how their lives have changed and where they all are. But yeah. do you not think? I, I, yes and no. Because I think everyone, when you know when they did the Gavin and Stacey Christmas special, everyone was a bit like, oh, what's it going to be like? But it turns out they smashed it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's very hard it's to... It's so difficult to get Especially if you right. as a person changed, because I feel like James Corden, yeah. him doing Smithy, yeah. when he was actual, probably a bit like Smithy in real life, yeah. he did that character so well. Whereas in that Christmas special, he was still, he's a more like well-spoken James Corden that forms yeah. in America now. It's like, he yeah, is a, a different slimmer person. slimmer as well. Like, yeah. Smithy like, was like that big yeah, like, yeah, yeah. guy. I think, and... I think the, the reason why In Between Us maybe worked so well is because those guys were those characters a little bit in real life. Even, even if they did yeah, like they a, were much ten, older. Even if they did like a reunion or a Christmas special, I don't think they could. Because they, they couldn't say half the shit they used to say or they'd have to make it different. Oh yeah, that's the yeah, other yeah, thing. Like yeah, you want you it to be quality. I suppose you could make it, you, they could still make it funnier without, you know, yeah. No, but why why can't we just have offensive humor? Yeah, like, I not mate, that's what I'm saying. That's that yeah. is literally what I'm saying. Like go, going back to having that where it's a joke to yeah, basically, but the only way to bring that back is by actually just doing it. People need to bite the bullet and I, go because at the end of the day, whatever's selling numbers is actually good, what prevails. Like I'm not going to lie. Like yeah, it, yeah. that's why now YouTube and influencing and all that is such a big thing because at first they tried to fight it off and be like now these are just idiots, but it gets tickets. Or actually, it, gets, it sells. Well, so therefore we need to bring the dodgy humour back. I went to watch Ricky Gervais live. Yeah. Uh, don't know when it was. Like, whenever he was That's on his live tour. Yeah. It was so offensive. Like, you boys know what my humour's like. Like, it's probably darker off camera than it is on, naturally. Um, even There were some jokes that he said that even I was like, oh, my God. Like, how, <laughs> how is he pulling that off? Mm. There was and a, I w- so some yeah. people are still out there doing it. It's just like, you know, the in-betweeners... I would hate to think that that couldn't make it nowadays. Yeah. There's a new Rebel Wilson film out on Netflix. Actually, quite a good recommend watching it. With your She's girlfriend. lost a lot of weight, hasn't she? Yeah, she looked well different in it, actually. It's about, like, her waking up 20 years after a coma. And she's still, like, 17 in her head. Right. And, like, she starts seeing all this stuff. And her mum's like, you can't say that anymore. Oh, fuck. But it's oh. quite interesting how, it, like, 20 years ago, the stuff she was well, saying... It's like your yeah. nan is saying, probably... Like, my nan accidentally says things. Like, that generation would say... Coloured people, yeah. Rather than like nowadays, where you say black people, right? You can't say oh someone's coloured. That's just going basically. Anyone that isn't white, you're just generalising them as just they're coloured. Yeah. It's like do you know what I mean. But that is that that back then that was like her way of respectfully describing what she's you know saying. Well, and it's, it's yeah, it's like things change. Like it's nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things do move forward, but I, like, I just like to think humour has a yeah, place well, in the world. Speaking of humour. Oh, Obviously, no. Nico or Milano's I new w- vid. I watched it on the flight today. Fucking hell. I haven't seen 20 mil all views of it. in four days. Mate, it had like what? 12 million in a day. Yeah, mate. Yeah. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. It's one of, I think it's the best vid I've ever watched. Mate, yeah, in terms of like what it consisted of, so like the, the obviously the funniness, but the fact that the fact of what he's done go yeah. all the way to the most racist town, putting himself in danger, having the element of where he had, you know, with Richard, the guy that yeah. helped him, and then he's gone and fucking helped him with his surgery. Like, there's just so many points that just made that an amazing video and that actually, almost you couldn't have planned for. And opening up and trying to change the perspective on that town. Yeah. Because he obviously went with an open mind, which I think was yes. key to it. And it was, <clears throat> do you know what, firstly, do you know what the funny thing is, right? First thing my mum said is, oh, that is brilliant. He's going to end up doing, like, documentaries on TV. I think, and I'm like, mum, like the new Louis I, was like, I was like, mum, that's not the, the step up now. Doing yeah. documentaries on TV is not like the up here and YouTube what is yeah. down here. It's like, what he's done there, that is the new Ma- making documentaries. Yeah. BBC, that is like the fucking, exactly. oh my God. BBC couldn't get 20 million views in four days. No. Not, and even, it, not even close to it. Unless it's like the World Cup. Final. Not even that. Yeah, yeah, but that's uh, not... Yeah, but like, that's, do you know what I mean? That's the World Cup. That's a billion views. Yeah. World. This but is what the YouTube Yeah, video. like what he's done there was just absolutely remarkable. And so, the fact that he's willing to put himself mate, the, in that danger. Yeah. Like we asked him when we filmed, right? We were like, how can you go out in public and be the way you are? Like, do you not have that thing in your brain? That's minor that, that, stuff that, that, what he's doing now That well. says stop. And he just says, I, d- I don't the have fact, that. I, I yeah, he doesn't, have, that. he doesn't have he, that like trigger that makes he, him just like cut it off. The thing about it, like he's in the church, yeah? 
the guys with like guns. It's just him and George, yeah. camera, George. cameraman, and uh, like they, they could just, by the way, they could just whatever. Do you know what I mean? But like, and he's saying like, oh yeah, shout to I'm a nonce, and he gets him to say it, <laughs> and like all these other stuff. I'm like, I how? Think, I think it's because you could pull it off as to say, firstly, you're dealing with the older generation, which this guy is. He wouldn't have even thought yeah. that this this is edited. He's shown him it and. I just don't think that would have gone it's into the Instagram. I think the Instagram, it's, yeah, like <laughs> he's Simon. Well, I know, I know. I saw it. It was just, it was like also, the genius. Yeah. I think that was also it's such like so telling of how like thick and stupid that yeah. like individual actually yeah. is, and I think it just like encapsulated like the whole movement yeah. as like though. stupid people. But I don't, I don't understand how it, that stuff exists because it's it, it's illegal. No, it's not. Freedom, it is illegal. Freedom of speech in America, yeah. isn't it? They're not because if they're racism's illegal. Sure, yeah, but, but I yeah, yeah, but, it is. but I think is like, it in America, <laughs> I I think racism is illegal in the sense that you like racially abuse someone. But he openly talks about wearing his Ku Klux Klan he- hat, head, hood, <laughs> ghost robe, <laughs> ghost robe. <laughs> oh, oh, mate, it's fucked. But like, America is a different world. Yeah, there's that freedom of speech thing. Like, you sh- you can should be allowed to be free to say whatever you want, and. That is ultimately what that is. And the fact that I remember when, you know, he says, like, would I be allowed to you around your house for a barbecue? And he's like, nah, because of your skin colour. And so how can mate, he be like, so thick? And he literally says it, like, with chest, like, as, in, as though that is just a standard thing. Like, but what... Do you know what? I, I find it hard to comprehend, like, I look at that and I think, oh, he's just saying this to, like, be, uh, like... Re- he's just saying it for to get people talking. Yeah. But, you know, he actually means it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, Straight facts. Like, there's billboards, like billboards, like white fucking supremacy billboards. How t- Imagine going down like Eastbourne Harbour and just that being up, mate. <laughs> mate, I don't. I literally can't wrap my head around it. I cannot wrap my head. Like, but I. Oh, Nico's such a hero. Like at the yeah, end. My only worry. Like, my only worry is that he's gonna end up dead. Like genuinely. Like that's his. Very like possible. how do you now be better than that? Because think right. As the young YouTuber's brain goes, your fucking dopamine is going through the roof, mate. You feel gassed. 600k. Everyone, 600k up to you. Hit 5 million. Everyone's saying you're the best YouTuber ever, right? I now need to better this. I now need to fucking... I, it's going to consume me. What, can, what more can I do now? And he was already in the risk of being killed by just doing that. I can't see if he go, carries on on this road how he's going to get to 40 and yeah, not be dead. Do you not think, what? though, it's like... Sorry, it's like Borat, okay? <laughs> Borat? No, no, and, and as in, as in Borat. Borat, to film some of the stuff he did, he would have to go to such obscure locations yeah. that people wouldn't recognise him. Yes. But do you not think 20 million views in four days, like, the news would have picked up on it. Nah, so Surely many people. everyone is going to start. Nah. Like, if he, he, but if he tries to pull off one of these pranks again, the thing is, where, people just see it, I don't know. Like, where could, does he go next to, like, the leader of the cartel and get him to, like, mate, call yeah, out, like, I'm our pussy or something? Yeah, <laughs> like, goes, you go to, <laughs> like, bang in the head. Yeah, He's yeah, just yeah, gone yeah. into yeah. me. Yeah, you go to Mexico, mate, and, or... Yeah. Goes, to, goes to Colombia and, like... <laughs> start, mate, well, like, like, it, yeah, yeah, literally. Boom. I still think, like, he would be one of the greatest guests we could ever get on this podcast. Does Nico go on podcast? Because the last time I mentioned it... He was like, oh, no, nah, if I w-, like, he just didn't seem keen on the podcast idea. But I think... Nico, are you up for? So to, like, on, this mate. would be such a good thing to talk about. Like, There's probably so much he hasn't included in that video. Yeah, oh, yeah. All the situations that he's been in. Yeah, like think... when it's not... What hasn't made the screens? Like when, you know, YouTube, what's, what, what has happened? I also think at the same time, like, it's amazing. I think we, we sort of seen it firsthand, like, the attention to detail that he pays to everything. Like, yeah. the, the level of quality that yeah. he wants to extract from these videos is yeah. at the highest level. Yeah. 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 He doesn't just like think, oh, that would do. Yeah. Do you know an idea I actually had, right? You know Gary Neville's The Overlap? So good. I watched the PK Mate, one over. Imagine on that, plans. YouTubers. Getting Nico. But he's just do- robbed it. Pitch, what? pitch side are doing that now. What, you're doing it for footballers? He's, no, for YouTubers. Him and Reeve are taking that idea. What, is it like what going on dog walks? Yeah. I thought you meant just because we're doing a podcast with... What? Who are you doing a podcast with? Pitch side. Oh. No, no, I was just going to say, yeah, you'll probably do that now. Start going on dog walk. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's in like, because I think there's an element of like when the way Gary Neville does it, where he goes to like the hometowns of like mm. where these people grew up, where they made uh, who they are. And I think right? it's because of who he is as well. Yeah. 
But like, there's a difference between going in that sort of environment and in like a podcast, like set up studio yeah. environment. That I think brings out a side of people that you don't normally see. Yeah, it takes them back to their roots as well. Yeah, like I can, I, can, I just feel like there's there's an opportunity. I know. It's it, like did you watch the PK one? No. It's, I was really, really good. Really? But I feel like if you had like a random presenter doing it, he wouldn't have opened up. It's because no. he knew Gary That's Neville. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's why with, say if you did it with YouTubers, it would have to be a YouTuber yeah. doing it with yeah. YouTubers. Because like they, a footballer doing it with footballers. Yeah, they just feel more natural and comfortable. Yeah, because it's like you've been in the scenario that yeah. you're talking about. It, you know what I mean? Also, they've probably dealt with like the press and journalists and interviewers their whole lives and they know that like yeah. what they can yeah. say can yeah. be twisted in yeah, how so they want it. Yeah, so if anyone takes this idea, I'm coming for your head. But well, so you're going to do it? Wait, mate, the, that could be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah, like I was, yeah, it was just something. I, I, I was literally listening to the Declan Rice one on a dog so walk, good, and I was yeah. like, "Someone needs to do this for YouTubers." Yeah, what would you so call I'd, it? I just I don't know the underlap. <laughs> <laughs> no, you'd have to call it something along the lines of the overtube. The like a, a part of YouTube. What's a slang YouTube term? Slang. Write one in the comments right now. Like fucking. Think of a name for the series. You got pwned. <laughs> but you know, the, the, mate, the PK one is so interesting. Because like obviously he's a Barca player now. Yeah. So like everyone thinks he's going to become the next. He's going to be the president of Barca at some point. Wait, what the fuck? I said, Etsy guy. He's supposed to. Yeah, I think I want to be the president of Barcelona. But um, he like he, he, Gary asked him about the Super League. Like, what's your opinion on it? Yeah. Because obviously Barca, Real, Juventus are yep. still doing it. He's like, look, I think it'd be a, awful for football. Yeah. Which is weird to say because obviously I'm imposing my club's view. But he wasn't afraid to say it. Well, yeah. I mean, that should be the case. Like that should be the yeah. case. You shouldn't be but like it's different out in Spain. Apparently, what you, you no, the whole perception of, chinged up. No, the whole chingy, perception chingy, of soup. chingy. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, dig a D song. So you're up right there and get chingy, chingy, chingy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> <laughs> you know the song. But apparently, obviously in the UK, like everyone's more. But in over in like Spain and Italy, it's apparently it's a little bit more widely accepted. What are they like? Yeah, let's go for it. Not necessarily, but I think they're a bit more open to it. But Shit. PK, just yeah, that's said, like, easy look, when you're playing in farmers leagues. Yeah, they are in farm leagues. All right, you lot. Now, in a world where everyone's about keep grinding, never sleep, go, go, go. Why aren't you there yet? Right, it's all very intense, and you may not realize that your stress levels or just overall mental condition isn't in tip-top ways. Now, our friends at BetterHelp are offering you guys, right, live chats, video calls, phone calls, online services, right, that doesn't involve going into a therapist and really expensive standard ways of doing things, okay? Very affordable and with 10% off, thanks to the Waffling Boys. Mate, I think, it, I think for a lot of people, it would be tough to actually, like, find somewhere and actually physically go somewhere. The fact that you can do it from your own personal bedroom, you know, it'll, it keep, it creates like a, a calming atmosphere. And, and we've often talked about how like, this is our therapy, just opening up, talking to each other. But like, some people don't have that. Or sometimes you need someone, you need to talk to someone that actually knows how to deal with yeah. what you're yeah. dealing with. Yeah, and they've got over 20,000 licensed therapists, right, for you to speak to freely. Okay, not for free, but you know, free. Be yourself in your own environment. So go to betterhelp.com slash waffling for 10% off. That is betterhelp.com slash waffling for 10% off. Off your first month. Your first month. Yeah, that is right. Enjoy. Malfoy, you've just filmed with Mbop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I called my mum up to say it. She was like, oh, how was, oh, what did she call him? It was like, Mukbap? No, it was like, Umbaupi or something like that and it was just like completely <laughs> <laughs> I was like Mbappe so you filmed with this guy right up on screen right now Mbappe Neymar Donnarumma Nun Menge Nuno Mendes Nun Menge yeah, so, um, you're Portuguese you're Minge what? get your no Minge no one said Minge <laughs> <laughs> and um, Marquinhos Marquinhos and Messi was next door no M Messi was back at the hotel he was asleep why didn't he come out? tug him one out but he just wasn't oh. what? I bet he's got a <laughs> No, he, 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 he just wasn't part of the group for that different activation. He did, a, he did like a <laughs> meeting group. Activation? It was different. Yeah, PSU, they're only there for a day. Oh. So you the went, what was it like? So when you step in, you're in front of big boy Neymar and all this team. In my element. Are you literally oh. like, well, go on, my G, my guy, my guy. Or are you, or are you, <laughs> or do you stay for your baby? Like, what's up, Nene? No, I didn't really. Oh, <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> No, I was just said, "What's up, my G?" Like, hi. Oh what, no, it was you say oh, my mate, G. No, mate, it was, oh, <laughs> it was it was awful. It was awful. Oh, was it awkward? He went like that, and you went like that. I went like that, no. and then and then I go like that, and he goes like that, no. and then I go. Ooh. 
<laughs> and then he gives his face <laughs> off. No, then we finally did that. And I, went, I went, oh, God. He was like... So we had a little Shit. moment. And who was better at football? Oh, me. <laughs> oh, obviously. You. Mate, obviously. So Neymar with his left foot or you? Me. You, wait, you, how do you reckon you're better than this? No, no he, I do, he, he took two touch way too seriously. He was like giving me, you know, like the classic Temple ones to my shins. You know in Temple? Like, oh, is he trying through. to make you do bad? Oh, yeah. He, he didn't want to lose. But I mean, oh, really? I was, so I landed. I got to the hotel at 8.15 in the morning mm-hmm. and we had to leave at 8.30. Boy, Ross. Yeah, it was very tight. You didn't even get a nap. But you know how some footballers... No, I just went straight through from the plane. You know how some footballers are like, you never know what you're going into. Like, if yeah. you're filming with someone, they're like, they could be a bit of an arse. Well, like the Bournemouth lot that, like, probably <laughs> took <laughs> Bully, <laughs> Bully him on set. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, basically. And you think, oh, Mbappe and Neymar, like, they're the biggest stars in the world. The nicest oh. guys. They were up for a laugh. They literally did anything. They would do anything. <laughs> 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 anything I'd ask. Get actually. on your knees, Neymar. <laughs> 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 not that, not ever. Uh, Donnarumma was just so, he's so big, like tiny. I mean, huge. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a massive what? I tried to penenka him. You tried to do what to his pee? <laughs> penenka? Mm. Yeah, what did you do? Did you he score? Sa- he, he saved it. Oh, wait. Didn't score a single penny against him. Did you not? What, is he really good? Mate, I understand why they missed the pens in the finals. He's fucking massive. Terrifying. Scary to look at. Yeah. Well, well sound though. Loves a laugh. Loves a laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, was I shit. <laughs> oh, really? did you do anything? I had jelly legs you... from the plane. Oh, yeah, I would as well. Like, imagine <laughs> you got to perform in front of all them. My seven hour flight. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's terrifying. He just, and then Donnarumma took pens against me, just top bins, top bins. What, is he sick as well? So Footy. good. He tried to panic at me, hit the bar. What do you mean? He, of course he's good. Yeah, but at is it, okay, so like Jens Lehmann. Or Malfoy, who's better at football, actual footy. Well, right now, but, now, but in their let, prime. Let prime, right prime, right now. prime Jens Lehmann or Malfoy Baker. But up front, not in goal. No, like footy, Lehman. actual footy. You reckon Jons Lamen? I think there's a there's a reason why like every single player who plays for like a, a top level club plays for them. Yeah, but foot goalkeepers aren't like. No, I, know, now, I, I know, like, back say, in the day. I reckon, like, Kepari <laughs> Shabala. <laughs> I reckon, like, him and, like, Edward Mendy, uh, Edward Mendy, like, and people like that are fucking quality on the ball. Back in the day, there's different breed like, of keepers. Like, fucking carriers. Like, is Mendy's he better not than... good on the ball. Mendy, yeah, he's a bit of uh, Ramsdale. He's all right, but, but I reckon Carrios versus, like, <laughs> against, like, FIFA Manny. Like, FIFA Manny's winning. Oh, Manny Blitz. Or, like, Max plays FIFA. Yeah. <laughs> not him, not Max. <laughs> is he shy? <laughs> we, we have to see the ball. He's blind. Yeah, no, he is partially it's blind. No disrespect. I'd back Carrius in a free kick challenge versus Max. <laughs> Come on. Who <laughs> <laughs> wouldn't? Oh, but no, no, so we had six stations. Donnarumma, after Donnarumma, went to film with Neymar. Yeah. And uh, there was quite a lot of people. It was like, he was like joking around with some girl or whatever. Um, we, so we didn't have too long with him, but he was so sound. I, got, I did a two touch with him, filmed him, set me a football challenge, up for laugh, like joking around selfies, you know. How many, how many videos did you make out of it? I made a full video with everyone. Yeah. And I also got Neymar and Mbappe to set me a football challenge for other oh, videos. Oh, that is amazing. So after Neymar filmed with Mbappe, Mbappe was so funny. So good. He, he got involved. He was laughing at me, bantering me. That's did a shooting good. challenge with him. Mate, What's his finishing like? like he was, mate, he's fucking good. This is literally like, this is like pinnacle sort oh, of stuff. Oh, this is this the big, is like... big, big, biggest video I've ever filmed. Yeah, do you... Do you like take it in that like you're no. quite literally at the top of your game right now? No, yeah, like that no. is like this is like this is top tier. I wasn't life. even nervous. I wasn't even starstruck. Next year, struck. irrelevance. You were just yeah, but <laughs> no, yeah, mate. It's true. Well, I suppose it's only been downhill bu- from here. <laughs> you've been building up to this moment. Like you've performed with many. You, you played what for, in that Rangers game with like yeah. all those pros and all that. Nuts. You've done it for years now. This is almost all building up to this moment, and now you just see Neymar like he's another guy. On but, the but that was that was weird though, because but I think you've been in a situation as well. Like you. are not on that, but you see it on a level when you're filming that. You just treat them. They don't, when you see, see them having fun and just having a laugh and just bantering you, they're just humans. They're just yeah, normal geezers. Exactly. Like, I'm older than Mbappe. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, yeah. That so is I, weird. I, like, he's younger than me. It's just some little, like, year seven, mate. Just some year seven playing footy. Yeah, How old is he, like, 21? Surely there was 22. a bit of you inside that was like, I want to show him I'm better. Oh, yeah, I was fuming at myself and I just, like... I, but, I'd rather, knowing didn't... my classic ego, I'd turn up there and be like, oh, I'm going to show these boys up. Mate, I was livid. I well, how would I that end up? I, mean, I didn't play very well. I really didn't play very well. I scored oh. a sick goal and Mbappe was like, that's sick. And then I just shanked it wide twice. I was just like, I was really let myself down. No. Jelly legs, Don't worry, you probably will watch the vids. As in like, your other vids. Hopefully. 
Surely. Oh, but it'd be good. It'd be good to not ask like Neymar if he'd saw saw the World Cup song. Oh, so maybe we should speak about that. Actually, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but, don't worry, mate. They were just. It was just. Look, can we play a clip from? No. Oh. <laughs> it just went so much better. And then I did one on one versus Marquinhos. Do you do him? Do you batter him? Embarrass him? You want to see the clip? Yeah, we'll play the clip. Fire it up now, Bush. Oh, I didn't score, but fucking hell, Marquinhos got sold. Look at this. Oi, oh, fuck off. Did you put it for his legs? Uh, that is I had to silly. try and score, but I was so close to the goal, obviously I couldn't score, but sorry, You're Marquinhos. quite good. Do you reckon you could play for like a solid like, League One football team easily? No. You do. You fucking reckon you could do a job in the it, Prem. Oh, if I, if I, if I like, got as fit as they were and got conditioned, I've got the ability. Yeah, yeah, like, like Neil Mope or like Theo Baker. <laughs> Who's gonna do better, more I'll, bits? I'll, I reckon I bag five goals in a prem if I play every game. I reckon fit. you'd score more. If, if I played the city, just tap it in. Is that not underestimating <laughs> how <laughs> no, good? No, it is. is. I'm only mocking it. But mate, no, no. I reckon with chest, he could do it. I reckon he thinks he can. No, I think he can. I reckon. I'm not even joking. Like, if you're in a, such a good team, I think the majority of like good players could like. Do a job. I'm not no. going to say they'll fit in. Who I is, can do a job. Who was that? Uh, that player years ago that like said he was like someone's grandson or something, and like no. he, yeah, he got signed for like Southampton or Sunderland. Oh, or something. I do know about who? this. Who? Oh, I can't remember his name. Mate, he just said like he was like someone's the son of nephew player. or grandson or something, well, like, like a former player. professional footballer. And then he got signed for literally a Premier League team. I think it was Southampton. It was Southampton, yeah. And he, if you know who it is, lob it in the comments now. Uh, oh, maybe I'm so maybe, sorry, that's maybe Sunderland. Wrong. And he played. He played a game. And it was shit. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> mate, completely just frauded his way into oh the my team. God. Now I'm only, I'm only, I don't think I could. Surely that could be Nico's next video idea: frauding my way into like a Premier League yeah. football team. No, go to like fucking, I don't know, God. like like. Like, it would have, it'd have like to be Croatia, like, who's yeah. like the top of Croatian league, and play a Champions Dynamo League match. Zagreb in the Champions Put, League. my way into a Champions League match, pretending I'm Pele's son or so, yeah. grandson or something. Wait, do you know what it is? Do you know that, what it is? That would be a banging video. I don't think it would be possible their now. First touch, <laughs> it's their first touch. Yeah. Their first touch is just a joke. Every yeah. yeah. single one is a joke. And it's the speed that those, yeah, yeah, the way those balls are coming fun. and everything. I remember when I was 16 and made my debut for Seaford, first team. I played 10 minutes and I was fucked. Yeah. Like, even on s Saturday at Seaford level, I was fucked. Yeah. It's just knackered. We are all playing in a football match. We are on Friday. Buzzing. At, at that Rangers football stadium, Ibrox. Oh, we, are, we are allowed to talk. Do we uh, know? It's not on Friday, though. It's a different day. Oh. Oh, it's it's actually, Friday. what day are we going for? Uh, I'm not. It's, I think it might be s Monday. Okay. Monday. Okay, Monday. But do you know what positions we're playing? Because well, this could I'm, be this I'm, could I'm be, manager. This could be you're not playing. I'm manager and player, so yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm organising. Yeah, all. so you're that's what I'm saying. Because this like could Edgar be the first Davids. time ever. Everyone watching right now, waffling exclusive. The first ever time that the waffling boys are going to have played in a football match on the same team together. Normally, it's just me and you. This is vile, right? It's going to be dangerous. Normally, <laughs> we are going to be deadly. Luke's, normally, Luke's in the stand filming. Normally, it. he's the filmer. So, exclusive one one eight formation, one defender, one midfielder, eight strikers. No, but on a level, where 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 am I playing? Probably up front. Really. Or they're not better strikers. I'm, I'll go where I'm most effective. On the bench. <laughs> <laughs> Left back. He played at Brighton. I'm actually room. sick in yeah, defence, yeah. but like, I want to score. Yeah. I just want to get a little Left worldy. Wing. Left wing or striker. Yeah. Well, well it depends. Are you playing oh, four, where are you? Four, fucking oh, two? Because he's target man. He's useless anywhere else. He's useless up front. Huh? He's No, he's good up front because yeah. he could be a target man, but it he doesn't would, pass. But it depends if he shows up because sometimes yeah, he's he, crap. he does need to it show up. Sometimes he turns if I into prime. If, he, is he, if he's R9 on the day, it's class, but if you're fucking like... He can yeah, be it, good and everything he touched turns donkey. to gold. Yeah. It is one or the other. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's no well, in between. I won't lie, I have him playing well recently. Up at the I little... Uh, boys, 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 so that's you know the Tuesday football, you know we're in, you know we got put in top division. He scored a hat trick. Scored a hat trick first game. Nice. Game before that too. Levels. We're top of the league. We are. Well, so you lost football. the first game. No. Someone, someone watched you, uh, watched the game, and said like you were the only player on the team that could do anything though. So I. Yeah, we, we won. We yeah, won yeah, every yeah. League game. We're no, they, the they said you literally. They they just picked you out, passed to you, and you just did everything. That's what, That's what he does, mate. That's what he does. No, no, it's quality. <clears throat> and on this sort of note, right? Should there be torture and death penalties for pedos? On this note. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, where's the segue there? No, it's just sort of like... <laughs> Let me guess, you're going to say, no, there shouldn't be. He <laughs> better hope there isn't. <laughs> Rest in peace, Weller. <laughs> she, she accused me of being a pedophile. <laughs> <laughs> well, say no, with chess. No one said that, didn't you say? 
Rapist as well. What, is <laughs> what the fuck? Is rapist. Like, do you do you actually know what you're saying right now, bro? <laughs> to your friend. <laughs> Go on, ha ha, get your laugh. You actually Yeah, you're, you're harsh. fucking laughed. Well, you laughed more than anyone. You're harsh, mate. Uh, it's too far. Too far. Yeah, they tilt you your other back window in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, yeah, because no, these are fucked up, rocks. Right? I was watching a little like few documentaries based. My mum's fucked. Is anyone else mum's fucked? Right? No way. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> fucked who? <laughs> <laughs> you had sex with your mum. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Listen, I mean, <laughs> mate, it'll be like nine p.m. at night. Oh, what are we gonna watch to wind down of an evening? <laughs> evening, fucking pedo rapist documentaries. <laughs> That's what she lobs on, like, every fucking evening. It's like, mate, I'm trying to relax. Is she trying to tell you something? <laughs> this ain't even funny, mate. <laughs> why, why are you trying to out me? Here's what I say on that. Yeah. Let him rot. Not kill him. Let him rot in prison. Rot. Yeah, yeah personally, I think prison's worse. It, but I mean, your whole it, life confined sometime... to four walls. It yeah, has to be a bad no, but, prison. Yeah, but it's, yeah. Stick him in a prison in fucking Vietnam. It's because there's all this thing at the moment of, like, <laughs> fucking, there's some places <laughs> where, like... Uh, abortion is getting like worse treatment, like worse penalties than say like rapists. And like apparently in Canada, a bill has been passed or something where <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> if you're no, cause it's so like, ridiculous. If like a, a rapist can plea like that they were drunk when they were um, oh, defending that if they're defending themselves what? for a rape uh, to, as a way to, for it to like successfully be I, defended. I also saw How that like that? a rapist, if if uh, the the female that was raped is like impregnated and then has an abortion, the rapist can sue them for like effectively terminating their child. Yeah. Oh, I'll have a day off for you. Yeah, it's fucked. Oh, that's in America, obviously. Yeah. That is vile. But I'm just saying, like, it, no, but imagine if, so, okay, people, yeah, prison, whatever, but imagine if the deterrence for being a massive pedo or rape. <laughs> I don't know why I said massive. No, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's because you're, you're smiling. Stop. Stop laughing. Here's what I said. No, no, let me quickly say this. The deterrence of being a fucking massive <laughs> pedo. Yeah, like non sorry should be <laughs> like you literally get fucking like chopped about. Like, is it like, get like, you know, those hedge cutters? Like that, Ooh. but like, like fucking Ooh. dodgy. Tw- like, so what you happens? do not want to do this. What happens, okay? If 10 years down the line, someone goes, oh, shit, <laughs> shit, he was actually innocent. Yeah, and, and we've now that is... Him up. No, but say if there's proof. Say if there's actual concrete proof, it shouldn't be, oh, a few months in jail. Or yeah, whatever. but... It should be fucking... But then you're it, getting shitted up, mate. But then it's like that thing. It's like, oh, well, how can we prove it? Like, unless there's physical video evidence of this man committing this offence. Like, you can do and tests, that's, can't that you? is the problem with, like, oh, the death penalty. Subjecting someone to, like, ending their life based on evidence which may or may not be sufficient I, like if it is later found out that like there was a mistake down the line actually you yeah, know so. this Just this person the, was innocent give them life and then you've taken their without life bail, without parole yeah, but okay so if there's concrete fucking evidence video proof some of them may okay so this this one documentary was actually a madeline mccann documentary this one of the su- one of these suspects he basically would film himself like abusing kids oh and yeah that was that was what? literally found that 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 those tapes right Ugh. And it's like, well, there's fucking evidence there. So nah, like, murk him. Fully murk yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. Like, that should be like baseball bats to the head. Sort of I thing, reckon... Like. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. no but surely, bro. Put him in a cage for the lions, hungry uh, lions. Romans. That's what they did. Did they? Really? Feed him well, to gladiator. the lions. Gladiators. gladiators and ting. Imagine that, right? So gladiators. I actually only found this out the other day. So that the gladiators were like slaves. Yeah, yeah. That just were fucking right. You two fight yeah. for entertainment. Yeah. And it's just like fight to the death. And if yeah. not, it's like, if it's like thumbs down, yeah, the lions are getting put on you yeah. to finish you off. Yeah. Mate, what the fuck? Yeah, mate, that's, that's ancient Romans. But what, why? Why would, why They're, now? Was, that was sport. Why is that normal, bruv? It why was, would that be, ever be a thing, ever? 2,000 years ago. Yes, but how, how can you wake up and just think that that's a smart, you nice know, idea? They you, weren't educated like we were. Why do you need to be educated? Surely it's just in your soul. But it is now, back in the day. Like, maybe and back it, in caveman times. <laughs> They didn't know how to say hello. They would go, huh? No, but surely they were communicating in some way. It's all very different, though. Like, like you, you think of... You know what we were speaking about earlier, like, talking about the humour. How now, like, certain humour, even 10 years ago, wouldn't wash well. It's literally all about that. Like, back then, 2,000 years ago, or however long it was, that would have been, like, a normal thing. That would have been socially acceptable. I just can't. Even, like, because I've been going on a lot of, like, London Dungeons-type ex- ex- adventures and going to, like, Tower Bridge... 
The way they fucking like hang, draw, and quarter people Ugh. for literally like the pettiest of crimes. Like you fucking turn up on like London Bridge with a sooty face, or no, 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 the King's Way. If you're like on the King's fucking Avenue. Oh what? Like you've been like with a dirty face? Yeah, murked. Oh, death. Like it's sort of just like even, I just don't get how that's. What do you think's worse? What? Getting eaten by a shark or tigers? Fuck off. I don't want it. That limb. Honestly, limb. honestly, I think a shark because you, you'd probably oh. drown pretty soon. Yeah, but the and fear, got... yeah, but the fear, mate. The fear. And, oh, and what, you've got, you the got dark, a, like, a deep water. The lion, I can be like, you're a kitty. A kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> so you've got like a 350 kilo <laughs> lion. Yeah, lions. Like, lions, like, lions and tigers. <laughs> <laughs> lions and tigers, they like to like, they don't kill you. Yeah, they'll play with you a bit. They'll just, they'll just knock you about and, and you'll just be there like. Yeah, but not when his eyes gouged out by Weller. You reckon you could have a lion? <laughs> I'll have the shark as well. <laughs> well, the shark, you could actually murk. So I, I read in an article in the mirror. You have to stick your hand Base, in the mouth? Is, was that a crocodile? Oh. But like the shark, the shark, the shark, some, some surfer saved himself from a sh- great white shark from gouging his eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard Ooh. about that. And it well, just fucked uh, off. There was that thing, like, I used to think it was like, punch him in the nose. But like, have you ever tried punching underwater? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, nothing. Oh, I couldn't figure anything worse. Oh. No, but that's quite... Um, I don't know why I thought of this, but like, it's quite like a, a female question. What? Why? No, no, like, do you know? Do you ever have Why that thing with get eaten by a gender? No, I have non-binary questions. <laughs> no, because I uh, I asked Ruth a question last night, and like she was like, "That's normally like the sort of question a girl would ask a boy," and I it was stupid. It was just like it made no sense, and I was just like, "Are you close to so and so?" No, I was like, "If I if we woke up tomorrow morning and I was just a tiger." For no reason whatsoever, would you stay with me? I'd keep you as a pet. But you wouldn't stay, like... What, shag, you... Shagging the tiger? No, 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 I think that's... Se- <laughs> What's well, a pet, then? <laughs> Mate, is everything all right at home? <laughs> <laughs> Ruth, if I woke up a tiger... <laughs> no, but, like, do you never just have these random thoughts where you just think, like, if this actually happened? No, I did ask her, I did ask Jodie the other day, I said, if I had, had an accident and I was just, you know... But be... If I was just, like... <laughs> Can't say that, <laughs> mate. Okay, cut that, Tom. Cut that. Out. No, don't, don't cut, don't please, cut no, that. Okay, that's like, you know what? Well, race if cars. I woke up one day and I was just like, <laughs> race cars actually sounds like a podcast for like, uh, like uh, what's it called? Different races. I was discussing like the political agendas of different like races <laughs> around the world. Oh, yeah, really intelligent, <laughs> just like that. Like, would you, would you stay with your other half if they were just? Yeah, of course. Would, um, it, would your relationship change? Well, it would have to <laughs> You'd be more of a you wouldn't, you wouldn't have many conversations, would you? <laughs> <laughs> let's, imp- let's act it out. So you're... <laughs> no, okay, let's not. Save that, it for the impressions that, video that, over mate, on Patreon.com. Can, so well, someone's going to do an impression of... Like, <laughs> imagine, can you imagine <laughs> how sad that would be? That'd be horrendous. Like you, right? Joe, you wake up and your girlfriend is just a, a body. <laughs> a, essentially a body. Yeah. No way of communicating. It's more than just a body. No, but there's no way of communicating. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way of communicating. I. That's yeah. one of the. Sa- yeah, like... You can see their eyes, but there's nothing behind the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? That is. I can, that is yeah, I can it is. A, I, what? what you're, you... you're saying you'd stay. You, you'd have to, but. You'd have to find someone else in life, surely. Like, I'm not saying like completely ditch them. Like, you, I think you'd always stay around and be in their take, lives. You, you, you'd take so. It would take a while. You'd have to like. Somehow, it would take a while to come to terms with yeah. this isn't the person that you actually know. Do you know what I mean? It's like they're a whole new... It's, it's like they're a different person. Yeah, but it's... Oh, I couldn't think of and anything like worse. How, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know that if oh, I was the one that, like, woke up, like, unable body, I would want Ruth to, like... I wouldn't want to feel like a burden on her life. Yeah. As well, I think natural... Like, there are natural desires that you have in life that would creep in and you you wouldn't be able to resist the fact that I need someone I can sit and laugh with. Yeah. I need someone I can have passionate sex with. I need someone I can go on a day out and like and there we that will creep in and as much as you have love for this person, mm. you will need to fill that void with something and yeah, it's, it's a difficult so one. It's like another one like would you would you die for your family members? I was having this discussion with my girlfriend. <laughs> she's literally like oh, I'd die for anyone in my family I literally like that is how deeply I feel towards them would you die for your 90 year old nan no 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 well no 
I think that's fair because that well, fair so Wella dies and then the, a year later she well, dies. Yeah. By but she'd say like I, I would die for my my younger sibling. Would would you do that? Could you die yeah. for George? You'd have, you'd have to, wouldn't you? Why really? would you have to? You've lived more of a life than them. What like two years? You're basically it, 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 you have to ask yourself: Could you live with knowing that you could have saved your younger sibling's life? Oof, it meant that you didn't die though. Yeah, what are you saying? The guilt, the guilt, <laughs> oh, the <laughs> guilt. Well, you got. Oh, we, yeah. we all know. We all know what he's doing. I think there, there are very few people I would die for. Ruth. Yeah, because then I, li- I wouldn't be able to live with myself. There was a pause on that. My, my, my two parents. The only reason <laughs> they're getting murked. <laughs> no, no. But the reason I wouldn't die for them, and this might sound, I don't think it will sound self-indulged. It's because I genuinely think that. Inheritance they wouldn't. Would they good. wouldn't be able to live with the fact that I died for them. If that yeah. makes sense. Oh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. No, it's God, true. It's savage. So it's like that whole like reverse. Like, like the world wouldn't be able to live knowing that I. Was <laughs> 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 now the summertime is coming. You're going to be on a holiday soon, and you may not be able to access those lovely TV shows and certain websites that you love. Hmm. Right. Well, our friends at ExpressVPN are here to save you, mate. What I want to know is how fast is ExpressVPN? It's lightning, right? They've got their own VPN protocol that they engineered, right, called Lightway, that Ooh. makes it expressly fast. No. Excuse the, VP, uh, the, 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 excuse the pun. But I've heard that these places actually still log your data and sell it. <sighs> Not ExpressVPN, right? Some cheap or free VPN store your data and sell it, right? So jarring. They've actually developed an engineering system that can that makes it impossible to store any data of yours, right? So you can explore freely knowing you're not watched. Mate, so obviously I was in Qatar this week. Yeah. Film with, you know, the boys. And uh, I wanted to watch Arsenal in the evening. I couldn't. But I got ExpressVPN on my phone. So I could. Yes. Arsenal in Qatar. And Thank you, ExpressVPN. It is available on all yep. ranges of devices as well. So exactly. that's amazing. And by just a click of a button. Yep you were able to access that. And that makes it the most simple, straightforward VPN to use. And it's not just me saying this, right? It's the Business Insider, The Verge, and many other tech journals that rate ExpressVPN, right? So get your three months for free on a one-year package now with expressvpn.com slash waffling, right? That's expressvpn.com slash waffling to get your three months for free on top of a one-year package, all right? Enjoy yourselves. I did. Uh, what would what would happen? Say I die. Yeah, hypothetically speaking. What Pay ha- rise. What what happens? <laughs> what happens? What's the concept? Is there like a someone making a montage of me? Like, yeah, we can, gonna obviously we're gonna try and cash in on it. Oh That's yeah, it. Sure. live stream the funeral. I like, <laughs> put it on waffle. Like. Surely only on the a, Patreon. Though. Surely you're making an episode of like, oh my god, he died, and then like the thumbnail is just like. Yeah, we're just there in black and white. Like what a picture of your stiff, like in a casket. Yeah, which would be next to the body. <laughs> <laughs> mm. so, so has anyone like? I'm guessing that like. Yeah. Has anyone in the YouTube space actually like died? died? Yeah, there would have been, but not necessarily people we know. Oh, I don't, I just don't know. Like, has it ever been like? Yeah, when the, the first like one in our community dies, I'm like, yeah, it's gonna when be nuts. The first one. Well, who's going to be the first one to die? If you had to put money on it, who's first? Who's like, the first YouTuber to die out of? Like in, in this like UK space. What? Uh, like, is there anyone like that does rec- well? Probably Nico Milano. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> it is who Nico's not though. Nico, not Nico. I don't know. Imagine someone dies in the ring. Oh, Jake. Oh, Paul. actually, you did say something in the group chat the other day. What about? A pool fight. The pool brothers. Oh, yeah. So we had, like, this TikTok. It was extra legitimate. So apparently there's evidence to suggest that Jake Paul's next fight is actually Logan Paul. Right? They keep fucking... Fucking? <laughs> Wait, let me get it. <laughs> they let keep me get... fucking? They just keep shagging. No, let me just get it out right now. No, no, get it up right now. No, no, not get it up. <laughs> I mean, just fucking... I just sh- love Logan Paul. What? what? No one said that, buddy. <laughs> no, I'm going to get it up. Everyone just fucking bear with me, all right? I know you're freaking getting seriously angry, but right, I've got it up right now on tickers. Oh, right. So this, Jake Paul will fight Logan Paul on August the 13th. 
Logan has been hinting on his podcast and Jake changed his profile pic to yin and yang, which is what they refer to each other as. Ooh. Well, <laughs> wait, so that's it. Hey, Ying. What up, Yang? I tell you what, though. Is, wait, is that the evidence? It would be huge. <laughs> that's, that's the concrete like, evidence. Jake Paul changed his profile picture. All of a sudden, they're fighting. D- the Ying it Yang. would be huge, but I don't they think... They keep hinting at it on the podcast. But who would the parents support? Oh, it'd just be a money fest, wouldn't it? It's like, haha, <laughs> both of them fucking earning money. Yeah, yeah. Do you reckon they would, have, they would have to put... They would have to, like, separate the boxing from, like... Come on, Jake, we're going to make fucking racks from this. Yeah, but I reckon they'd go for it. Oh, I reckon yeah. Jake would win. Wouldn't it be a bit awkward afterwards, though? Oh, Jake would win. Jake's got the more evil bastard. And also, him. I bet Jake will secret would be like, you fucking older brother, you've stolen, I've been in your shadow the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, definitely, I think. But that would be interesting, wouldn't it? Because Logan is still the more successful oh, one. Oh, yeah. 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 Maybe not mon- monetary-wise, but in terms of, you know, global phenomenon, he's... Well, he's done more things. And people like him. Yeah, but it's not all about being liked. No, no, but like that must be like, it's a nice feeling to be liked, yeah. rather, as opposed to disliked. Depends like, what you get off on. If, if nobody knew Jake, then that's like one thing. But like to be actively disliked versus your brother who is actively liked. Yeah. Must be a little bit like annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why do people hate me, not him? They don't hate you. No, no, no. I, I wasn't talking about they me. They love you. Do they? They all do. What I think I'd something down actually is the next thing on you that. were you were talking about um, your reaction to the FA Cup final or something. Oh, I was yeah, what is this? What, what did I miss? No, no, no. So obviously, me, my mom, stepdad, girlfriend. Because you're a Chelsea and Hove Albion fan. I'm a Chelsea <laughs> and Hove Albion fan. She's a Liverpool fan. Your girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just giving her shit the whole game, like this is why Liverpool is shit. And then you just went and did that, and it actually like I was. You know how I get rattled. I like. I don't know about you, but if my team loses a fucking cup final, I'm switching the TV off the second that full-time whistle goes. Yeah, we haven't they, lost one in a while. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> they, they wanted to just keep it on. Well, I don't want to hear that and watch that shit. Leave the, the room. Oh, you didn't go and unplug the TV, did you? No, <laughs> I turned it, it off. I turned it off. At the wall. <laughs> I turned it off, and then, but then they insisted it was going on, so I just like went to the other room and worked. That was Wait, it. how do you know about this? What? No, it's just, it was just quite embarrassing. It's just like, it is embarrassing. You know, like when you're, the feeling of being rattled is actually such a shit feeling because, like, you're rattled. Mate, I, <laughs> I felt so sorry for Mason Mount. Mason Mount. <laughs> yeah, so this is another conspiracy, right? So Ma- Money Mason Mount has played six finals at Wembley. And he's lost them all. Oh. And obviously, like, when you're, when you're then, like, so you've gone through that and then you're seeing on social media, which he would have seen, yeah. like, there is a curse about Mason Mount. He is the reason. Mate, and, he missed, that, and he missed the penalty. And he missed the penalty. Like, and, so it's, and we're like, obviously, we know him. Um, <laughs> it's sort of like, it's, so, it's, it's really real. As, as though, like, Did you, you message you him? You can empathise with him. I haven't. Oh. I don't know if I'd want to remind him. Oh, by the way, I really want to be sorry and all that for this <laughs> fact that you've... Uh, I, think I think he just wants to be... F- remind him. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It's a brutal... F- what, oh. So, all right, you're Chelsea manager. You're in a Wembley Cup final next season. Are you playing Mount? Or are you starting to believe the curse? Nah, no, I reckon you play him, but maybe just like... We, what, or if, if, having if, blessed if, by a priest before or something. But you know about the, the Man City curse, don't you? What's the Man City curse? Uh, Yaya Torre put like an African oh, curse yeah, on Pep. Pep Guardiola. You will never win the Champions League. Oh yeah, League. he actually did, didn't yeah, he? That is actually legit. He got Show the article right now, Tommy boy. Like it's actually a, a thing, and apparently, did, did they like, <laughs> did they do something afterwards? Oh no, I think that might have just been a meme to make out that like, they, they were trying to do something to lift the curse, like. What Man City pre- present Yaya Torre <laughs> with something or something? <laughs> but like, yeah, imagine like our curse is a thing. Maybe they are. I can't, like, can someone actually be cursed? Do you know what a curse could actually just be like putting a thought in someone's head and then rent free? Yeah, but did you see that? Uh, uh, there was a video of a football match in Africa where like the goalkeeper had like a little voodoo doll Shut the fuck in up. the goal. You've got to kick my ass. To like prevent any goals going in. So it's putting a curse on the other team. And uh, they, they couldn't score. Shut up. And then the striker like w- went into the goal got the voodoo doll, like, lobbed it away or whatever, and then, then they scored. <laughs> oh, mate, bullshit. Yeah, but there what? is something... I mean, voodoo, like, cursed items and shit, like, is that a thing? I'd love to look into if that. If you don't believe it, would you allow someone to put a curse on you? Oi, let's do that for a vid. I'm yeah. a Patreon. 
But you know what? Is it? It's just like then it's in your head, and you're just like thinking, and you're putting mm. pressure on yourself, and you're like, uh, okay, okay, it's an all curse. But okay, if you don't believe in it, let's put if, a a cursed doll, right, with a spirit in, in your bedroom for to you to cuddle up to at night, and it's just got like what, but you evil. Don't believe sp- in yeah, it, you don't believe it's in it. It's just a thing. doll. Yeah, yeah, it's just a doll, man. But it's still just like I'm scared of horror films. I know they're not real. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna get this doll and put it in your. Ass. But if someone, if if this like person was like i am the cursing woman or whatever and she goes next time you get in your car you will die i would be a bit like oh <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't don't about getting in the car today yeah you would be though wouldn't you because like hmm. yeah well it's like it's like those things how like you yeah. still no one wants to like swear on someone's life like on the off chance that anything happens like i wouldn't be like oh it's fair on weller's life it wasn't me or whatever if I had done something. Yeah, on the basis that imagine if you did then die, I'd be like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, there's always that what if. Even though you know, like, it's not going to happen. Yeah, but then that says in your brain that there is, there, it's not 100% certain that you know there is a what if. And I think there's that about quite a lot of things. Yeah, but is it just that thing of like, well, the what if is you could actually die and, and then, then I would fo- actually feel responsible had, had I have like sworn on your life? Yeah, I remember you sent a text, I was getting on a flight. And you're like, before I took off, you're like, hope you don't die, mate. Yeah, but we say that about any time I go on a plane. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is terrifying. The turbulence goes... <laughs> uh, I always do try to play it cool on planes, but I'm actually shitting myself when it's taken off. Mate, an you actual tin can ride. hurtling through the air yeah, at like, like 700 actually, miles It doesn't make any sense. Enjoy the ride. You have to accept it. You do have to actually... Yeah, yeah just go... That is uh, what I learned about a skydive. <laughs> um, it's like yeah, just pure acceptance. And Oi. actually, oh wait, there's actually one thing that's coming to my head that I saw. Sun cream, no, <laughs> is a myth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, listen, right? You know our skin gets so damaged by the sun. Yeah. So that didn't really used to happen as much back in the day. Why? What's changed? Well, the oil industry, right? So there's like sunflower oil, seed oils, right? Seed oil, yeah. <laughs> that we eat and is in so much of our food, apparently fucking in the skin, when that reacts with the UVs, is like fucking petrol for skin damage. Oh, is it like when you oil yourself up? In no, the... no, no, it's in your... Yeah, yeah, like... but like, is and, it the equivalent of... It's... You know people put like tanning oil on to like, so their skin like soaks the sun up. Is it like we produce it naturally as well? the way in which well? the fucking, that oil like decays in the skin just leads to fucking disasters. And then like actual in sun cream, there's like dodgy shit as well that encourages it as well. But Could... the, the oil industry and the sun cream oil, oil uh, sun cream industry, fucking gabillion, gabillion dollar yeah. companies that, yeah, but you look at like the, the, whatever the fucking skin damage diseases are or whatever, the graphs throughout the year of how it's spiked since, like, the 1950s is nuts. But apparently, coconut oil, like, olive oil is, like, we should put it on your skin or something. I don't know. I, I I olive oil. Maybe, I can, maybe not olive we are, oil. We are not recommending this to anyone, okay, but by this, the way. This, that what you should eat is extra virgin olive oil, yeah. not, like, not okay. like seed oils. Uh, yeah. But I, could, I could back that, but also, could it be that actually we're just spending more time indoors so our skin isn't as used to the sun. So, for example, cavemen would spend all the time outdoors yeah. for their skin. And people in, you know, these Arabian countries, African countries, they're used more used to the hot sun so they don't get as burnt. As, but when, like, do you know what I mean? Like if, for example, back in the olden times, the whiter you were, like the, the, less, like the less sunlight you got was seen as you are more rich. Mm, so, yeah. so you look at old Queen Victoria, her skin was very pale. She meant, oh, she's rich. She spends more time inside. Yeah. But the guys outside were just much more tanned and used to the sun. Yeah, but... I but if you put Vicky outside, she's getting burnt. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's like your skin just gets used to it. I think there's surely... I mean, I don't know. I need, I'm not a fucking dermatologist, but, obviously. <laughs> but, just, I would like to look into it to see because the evidence I saw on fucking tickers... TikTok. TikTok. Mate, no, you just got to up loads of evidence. This, like, this honestly sounds like three lads no, around a kitchen no, table listen, at 4 a.m. Listen, because it's on TikTok. <laughs> just just wait, why listen, would we no, no, wait, it's not, wait, 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 wait. Listen, no, listen. No fucking listen. Yeah. Just because it's on TikTok doesn't mean, oh, it's now just a load of bollocks. Just because it's on that platform. No, but like. But if you look into it, like anyone at home, if you've got any spare. But have you looked into it? Yeah, I looked into it briefly, but not like enough. Where'd you go? Wikipedia. No, okay, that's my girlfriend. It's an interesting point, though. If you. No, 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 no. And I agree. 
everything that you see is truly possible or impossible. But like, but the second it's on TikTok, it's like bollocks. No, but it's just surely you're taking that with a big pinch of salt. Well, not when it's fucking like they get up all the different evidence. <laughs> I mean, you haven't seen the video. So no, no, no. You're send assume it. Assume it's this like, ridiculous idiot. No, yeah, send it through. Um, I will. Speak, <laughs> speaking of TikTok, yeah. Oh. Now, obviously, HS did, did comment on our video. Yeah. Very sound response on the video. Like the comment he left was just all right. And like, he apologized for the medication. Yeah, comment. and he, he basically admitted like like we all thought he was just doing it for. Banner. He was and bored because his car got robbed. Or Apparently nicked. it didn't get robbed. It got, he actually crashed it or something, but hearsay. The Bundamobile. Yeah, RIP, man. <laughs> well, his number plate is Bundam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's the in-between a car called? Oh, the, the mobile virgin conversion <laughs> unit. Pussy <laughs> wagon. Uh, but he has, he has, he said, however, expect a response on TikTok. Now, I've not seen it. Neither have I. Neither have I. Wait, go get it out of there. <laughs> okay, here we go. And just take pre workout, but I guess that's where my somewhat slander came from. So I apologize, HS. I apologize. Hey, finally come to your senses, Joe. I'm glad you apologized. I was pissed off that you slandered my business, but genuinely, I accept your apology and we can move on from there. I'm going to see a fight. Oh, I'm not going to fight him. Oh. Will you get done in? I'd get battered. Yeah, I know. Yes, you fucking would, <laughs> mate. He want to do the fight. Like, because he's what? It's, because let's face it, right? He's a TikToker. Yeah, we, we, he's, 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 and what else? The actual audacity of this geezer, right? I've forgiven Joe, yeah, but Theo, mate, what are you on about? <laughs> Your Instagram is fucking washed. You're not even getting 10k likes, mate. <laughs> My backup Insta's doing 40k. You guys are doing about 200k views if I'm being generous on YouTube. I'm doing about 500 to 600. So, what are you what on about, it? mate? How are you trying to say I'm just a TikToker when I do more numbers than you on literally every single platform? Every single Theo, your claim to fame is sucking Joe Weller's wood <laughs> on his podcast <laughs> every week, all right? That's the only reason why anyone knows you. Relax, mate. It's after this vid. I assume that meant, means the same vid. And HS goes, can't even repost that. So tapped. Made me lol, though. Ack. Fuck it. Genuinely want to apologise for taking a piss out of your mental health. It's not funny. That's why I deleted it after about 10 minutes. Took it too far. Not rattled at all. I want to apologise for that to you. But Theo, honestly, relax yourself. <laughs> me. Oh, shit. I uh, two mil on my latest reel. Oh, mate, but like, that's actually a bit savage because he's... <coughs> he proper came for you there. Oh. He is good at that shit, as in like... Oh, he's too elite. He is funny. I can't, I can't come back from that. Shit. I'm in the bin. All the comments are like, he didn't deserve this. He, he didn't, didn't deserve this. So would but, you fight him? Yeah, would you fight him? Tickers, have a look. I'd have it, him. You'd have him? Obviously not. I'm getting No, you're calling him out. You watch it here, boy. He didn't, <laughs> he didn't include the bit where I said I'd box his head off, though. I thought he was going to have And then you decide in. when he gets paid. And not decide when he gets paid. You wouldn't box his head off, though. I'd fucking box his head off, mate. <laughs> we all, mate, do you know what the worst thing about the whole thing is? What? You could have told me my fucking nipple was out. <laughs> just the whole episode, my nips just hanging out. Flatty oh, bacon. That was part of it. So now you and HS have beef. So yeah, like beef. the well of HS beef is done, and it's now Baker, Malfoy. So you're going to look down the lens, and mm. you're going to say your fucking words to him. Go on, Malfoy! Oh, I'm, I'm so angry about this. <laughs> I, <won't... laughs> I can't sleep at night. And what are you going to do to him, Theo? I'm going to... I'm going to... Thumbs down. Ooh. His videos. <laughs> Can you even do that anymore? Mate, you know what you should do? You when do you upload the Neymar and Bappe shit, that's going to wipe his videos out of water. 500k, mate, as you're going to eat that for breakfast, aren't I got, you? I got two mil on a, uploading a crossfire challenge on my latest reel. On what? TikTok? Insta. Oh, yeah, Insta. Views, yeah, sick. So would we uh, ever have him back on? Oh, yeah. Would we? I don't know. Don't know. Do, but like, I don't, I don't know. No, no. I'm just like yeah. I'm not saying we're going to. I'm well, if, saying... there, if there was a reason, but at this point, I don't know. It's pretty irrelevant. What, like, as no, in we've had the chat with him and whatnot. Yeah, 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 yeah. We've said what we More need guess, to say. Yeah. It's not. It's sort of like we, there's nothing else to read. Yeah. So I do rate it though. No, I, yeah. I, no, I rated it because it was just like on the YouTube video. You said like all oh, all this, and it was like expect a response though. Nah, yeah, it's it quite, is it's funny. Like, I like content, it. Yeah. Innit? Yeah, it's I like content. It. The it's whole exchange works. has yeah. been well funny. Yeah, yeah like mate, mate, my fucking record label um, <laughs> phoned me up and were like, "Oh, is that? Is it like all set up? Like how it? Because it bangs like when you guys do your beef and whatnot." And I'm like, "Well, no, but I feel like it only does that like the way it does. Like it obviously it gets numbers and whatever because it is just off the cuff." Yeah, I think if we plan something like that and was like, "Right, HS, you're going to say this and then we're going to say that and whatever," you just see straight through it. 
uh, but like but I think big companies think that it's all just planned like all the all the beef and all that but yeah yeah anyway. but they still don't really understand the game yeah, I suppose do they? they don't but it does make you realise like you know how like people always ask like oh so and so whatever is it real or is it real yeah. I get why they do it now because it is a it's funny and b it does get a lot of like yeah it's made attraction. drama yeah. beef it it does work yeah, it, it does, fucking yeah. bangs it's funny it's yeah. like, I don't know it goes off it's like seeing who's gonna outdo the other person like so who should we upset next who should we upset who should we get into beef with who do we who should we get into beef with? mouth. No, I'm, I've already firmed this L. I'm not going to have to sleep for days. <laughs> firmed this L. <laughs> oh, do this. I don't know. I mean, I suppose we'll let the people decide who are we coming for. Although I do like love and peace. Yeah. I'm not all about that hell. But um, we are now about to go do our impressions video oh. over on the patreon.com. And we have some questions to answer. And we have questions to answer, right? Only for the true Waffling Mafia members. Anyways. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please leave a like rating. Five stars on Spotify and rate us very highly on Apple Podcasts in whichever way you're meant to. It's been The Waffling Boys. We hope you've enjoyed your life and continue to love yourself because you are amazing. <laughs> Anyways, peace. Love is in Tekken.